Okay, hello dear friends and uh, I am in New Orleans and attending a conference and I have met, I have met a lot of interesting people everyone has a story to tell I'm taking some sunshine here because I was too, too cold from California and then there was another lady sitting here and said she will enjoy this sunshine because she will go back to the snow and then we started to talk she had a fascinating story that touched my heart i hope her story will also touch you so here is my new friend Hi. i'm so happy to see you so happy to see you too Ian. Uh, my name is cynthia um, i'm from rhode island college like i said told Ian i'm going back to the snow today but i told her my story and this is it. Um, I always wanted to be a teacher when I was a little girl. That's what I told everyone. In high school, I had a wonderful art teacher. I loved her and she was wonderful too. She was an inspiration. And then she encouraged me to go to the Rhode Island School of Design, which is a famous art school. And it was a wonderful education. But the only thing I would say about that place is, is they, they don't really encourage people who want to be teachers. So I took another path for a while. I studied graphic design. But when I got out of college, I realized that that really wasn't what I loved. You know, perhaps I should have studied painting or something in the fine arts. But there I was. I met my husband. We got married. We had two kids. And it was really important to me to stay home and raise them myself and and not even have any part-time job outside of school. I wanted them to be the focus. And we were lucky enough to be able to do that. So for 25 years, I stayed home with my two kids, um, one of which went to my alma mater, Rhode Island School of Design, and the other went to Massachusetts College of Art. They're both artists too. Um, so then, sort of the sad part of my story, but also the part that gets me to where I am now, is that after 30 years of marriage, my husband told me he wanted a divorce. Naturally, that was a real shock. Um, and one day, I was actually talking to my best friend. And her, her son said to her, Mom, I might want to be a music teacher. And my friend, has been a teacher for 25 years. And my friend said to her son, oh no, you can't be a teacher. And I was shocked that she would said, say that. But I understand how tired and frustrated after a long career she is. So I said to her, Cheryl, why would you say that to your son? I, the only thing I ever wanted to be was a teacher. And then I thought in that moment, well, I can still be a teacher. I'm 55 years old, I can still do that. So I started making phone calls to people and I met the Director of Art Education at Rhode Island College, Dr. Cheryl Williams, and she took me under her wing. I was shell-shocked from the divorce. I didn't know what I was doing. All I knew was that my dream had always be, been to be a teacher. and she helped me get started to do that and in a couple of years I will be fulfilling my dream so when there is a will there is a way exactly where there's a will there's a way and you, your story is so touching <laughs> and just imagine all the qualities you have through life through the struggle through the smooth life and then the, this sudden change yeah. it will be such a strength yeah so if anything happens to you in this life no matter how painful let it push you to the place you always wanted to be push you to a new higher level exactly you are just doing that <laughs> and tell the st students your story in whichever way we cannot make judgment but Whichever way, your spirit of this uh, never give up right. and, uh, and fight against something and, uh, and try to win it. This yep. is so yep. good. So, thank you.
<laughs> thank you, thank you. Oh, I am just uh, so touched. I hope uh, you get something out of it. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank this you. Is, this is amazing. Oh, thank you. <laughs>